All right guys, what's up? It's CH from Village Park Shores. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a custom invoice in this video tutorial. So what we're gonna do is, first things first, is you're gonna to have to have a customer. If you don't have one, go ahead and create one up here and set the email to your email. So we can see what this custom invoice looks like. So I'm gonna go over here, Eddie Money Plumbing. Go ahead and click Create Invoice. And here's our invoice sheet, just like this. We'll just create something, one product, one 12 piece tool set, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just get something out here, balance two, 100 bucks. Now where you're, where you're gonna wanna customize your invoice is right down here at the bottom. Click on Customize. Now the first thing you're probably gonna wanna do is change the color to fit your logo or company brand. So just go ahead and click over here. This has got the cool little color picker or if you already know the hex pattern, if there's like a set color that you know, so if you you're going for like the Home Depot orange. I don't know how I know this off the top of my head. Click enter. Where'd it go? Home Depot orange. F8400. Click off it. There it is, just like that. So you might want to change the color up. Uh, just keep in mind over here is on your right hand side. It's kind of like a print preview or an email preview of what they're going to get. Here's some templates. Just kind of play around with it depending on how much color you want, how much information that you want to show on your invoice. Uh, down here we have font size, we also have font family, click on Times New Roman or Helvetica. I think Helvetica is easier to read. Now let's go ahead and, now if you don't have a logo, or if you want to have your logo show up on an invoice, this is where you would do it. Just click upload, set your logo to your desktop, and your logo would show up right about here on the top right hand side. The header, it's just another thing where how much information you actually want to display, show form name. Yeah, your call, there's no right or wrong. Uh, I don't think your audience cares what check or invoice number this is. Uh, maybe for your personal records, it might make a difference. Down here, company field. Again, we're just populating information of our own company. Website, you click on it, it'll show up over here. Columns, do we want to add the date? Uh, the date just got populated. Let's go over to footer. Do we want to say something? Thank you for your business. Whatever you'd like. Again, there's no right or wrong. Don't be offensive. Don't be demanding. More. Let's click this. Uh, use customer, custom transaction number. Again, there's no right or wrong. Just play around with it until you get it exactly the way you would like it. Style header columns footer. That's kind of the gist, gentlemen ladies and gentlemen and if you have any other questions please leave me a comment question uh, let me know be great that's it click save and you're gonna go ahead and send your invoice template saved invoice from CH's company and that's what it looks like hi Eddie thanks for your business with Home Depot Orange send and close you just created a custom email custom invoice on QuickBooks online and we sent it to our client Alright guys, good luck with this. Hopefully this made sense. I'll see you guys in another video.